I think lots of people do do the same lottery numbers, of course, each week, not necessarily because they think it's going to increase their chance of winning, but maybe they are, uh, they have a meaning to them or they're just worried that if they start doing those numbers and then they stop one week and then they came up, that would be awful because they would have won. Um, but there is definitely a belief, I think, and and I'm a bit guilty of it. I will say I've spent quite a bit of time in Las Vegas in my life. Um, and you do get playing roulette is a bit like that. You're like, oh, there hasn't been a black number. Afraid that there's got to be a black. Well, it's got to come up. It's got yeah, to. Yeah, I mean, interestingly, this is actually referred to as the gambler's fallacy, or sometimes the, the Monte Carlo fallacy, or even yeah. the fallacy of the maturity of chances. And it's all about when something has happened less frequently than you expect, you believe that it's more likely to happen again. Yeah. Soon. And and, you're and even though it's a recognised thing. Yeah, and even though mathematically I know that that is not true, that cannot, that isn't, that's not how probability works. They're completely independent events, but you still do, I think, because we look for patterns, don't we? That's what we yeah. like to do. We like to find patterns and symmetry and things. So I think it's an understandable thing that people get wrong, but it's still a little bit annoying. Uh, yeah, uh, it's because, as you say, we look for patterns, we look for things that we expect to happen in a certain way. And when they don't, they stand out, don't they? Apparently, the yeah. Monte Carlo fallacy originates from an example of this happening in, in a casino in Monte Carlo in 1913. The roulette wheel spun black 26 times in succession. I mean, you can imagine, can't you, after it had done that three or four times, everybody's putting their money on red, aren't they? Because they're expecting it to come up red yeah. next time. And so I bet a lot of people lost a lot of money uh, that night yeah. in 1913. And by the because... time it eventually did come up, they probably were out of money and had left the table. Exactly, it's all gone. yeah. Yeah, the house won yet again, as is always the case. So, yes, uh, so the gambler's fallacy, totally, totally agree with you on that one. But it is hard to, it is hard to separate our sort of pattern spotting, uh, that human nature of it, isn't it? Yeah. As you say, even when you're trying to be rational about it. 